Beautiful! Hello! Welcome to Cat Tries to Bake. For all of May, I've been making Asian desserts in honor of Asian American Pacific Islander Month. So today, we are rounding out that series with Japanese mochi. Now, I know technically, by the time this releases, it's already beginning of June, but I didn't get to film the series until the middle of May, so I'm just... I'm, I'm fixing it. A little bit. Joining me today is my brother, Alex! <laughs> Before we get into the rest of the video, make sure you subscribe to my channel down there. I got this recipe from Zeng Lewis, aka Honeysuckle, on YouTube. What am I doing with my hands here on YouTube? Anyway, I'm just gonna start. Even though it's my first time making this recipe, I decided that I just want to try making two different flavors right off the bat. That being said, I have two sets of ingredients here, and I'm gonna make a vanilla batch and a strawberry batch. Our first step involves scooping our ice cream into our mini cupcake liners so that they're all uniform. And once we do that, we're gonna put it into the freezer for about an hour. The reason why we're putting it in the freezer for an hour is because when you start working with it and trying to put it into the mochi like rice wrapping, um, it could start to melt pretty quickly. So you want it as hard and as cold as possible. The recipe instructions in the description of the video say it makes 10 to 12 mochi, but in the video um, she makes six. So I'm just only gonna make six of each flavor for now just to play it safe. So I have a tablespoon here. The reason for that is because my ice cream scoops are all way bigger than these mini cupcake liners. So I'm just gonna use a tablespoon and try my best. So we have vanilla here. We took it out of the freezer a little while ago so that it would soften up enough for me to be able to scoop it out. But now it's kind of melty. Okay. Because I'm not using an ice cream scooper, there's no nothing to like push the ice cream out. Hold on, I'm gonna get like a little spatula thing. Great. Oh, what the? <laughs> I didn't like that sound. Okay, I'm just gonna like... Oh, okay, that's not too bad. Ah, oh, there we go. Beautiful! I'm all done scooping the vanilla ice cream in. It's kind of messy and it's starting to melt a little bit, so I'm gonna work fast. Now I'm gonna do the strawberries. No, strawberry flavor. Um, there, there aren't stra- never mind. You know what I mean. Do you want to do that again or no? No, it's fine. I'll just leave it. <laughs> oh, this is going in quite nicely. Oh, a nice little ball. Do you want to lick this? <laughs> you spit no! <laughs> you spat on the counter and then it got on your I finished scooping all my ice cream, so now it's gonna go in the freezer for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so nasty! Now I'm ready to make our mochi dough. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna be making two different batches and because I've never done this before and I'm scared to mess both of them up at the same time, I'm just gonna do one first for the vanilla one and then I'm gonna make the strawberry one after this. First, what we're gonna do is put a half cup of sweet rice flour, I'm using the brand Mochiko, into a bowl and then we're gonna mix it with three quarters cup of water. Three quarters, three quarters of a cup of water? I never know how to say that. Anyway. I'm just gonna mix it together until it's all combined. I just bought these little utensils, this Aww. little whisk and this little spatula. They make me happy. I got them from Home Goods. Oh, it's so cute. Now that the sweet rice flour and the water are pretty much combined and it kind of looks like a thick, you know what? It kind of looks like, this is gonna sound so bad, like used toothpaste, but like that's like the consistency you want, I think. I can't really think of like another parallel. Can you think of another parallel? You could have just said slurry. Uh, <laughs> When you say slurry, I think there's like ice chunks in it, so... That's a slushy! Never mind. <laughs> it smells nice though. Now I'm gonna add a quarter cup of sugar and I'm gonna mix all of that together. It's getting really thick. T-H-I-Q-U-E. Thick -E. It smells so nice. I'm all done mixing those three ingredients together, so now I'm gonna put it into the microwave and heat it on high for two minutes while it's covered in plastic wrap. I just took it out of the microwave and I sort of freaked out because when I opened the microwave door, 
The plastic wrap made this like huge dome and I was really afraid that it would explode. Maybe heat it on high, but not as high as I did. Oh my gosh, is this melting? It's not melting, is it? It's just really hard to take off and it's also very hot. Ow, that's hot. I'm taking the plastic wrap off. I'm gonna cover it with a new piece after this, but I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna give the mochi dough a good stir so that it doesn't burn for the next time I put it in the microwave. Then I'm gonna heat it again for another 30 seconds, if I can take this off. The secret to the mochi dough's chewiness is actually the melted plastic. <laughs> Stop, that would be terrible. Oh, it's so hot in here. It's like so much steam just came out. This one. That's better. Okay, give it a good stir. Very sticky, it's so sticky. I feel like I'm doing this right though, so that's good. I'm just gonna mix it all around and make sure that every part that was touching the surface comes up a little bit. I am going to put it back in the microwave for 30 seconds again, like I said, and we're looking for a really smooth like texture on top, so I will be keeping an eye out for that. Back into the microwave we go. Okay, I just took it back out. Ooh, hot steam. Wow, that's really hot. And I didn't even like specify to heat it on high this time. I just put it in at like normal. That's such hot air. Yeah, I was not expecting this to happen today for sure. It's a little shiny. That's pretty nice. As you can see, I have my cutting board out here. I've covered part of it with saran wrap. That's where we're gonna work with our mochi dough. First, I'm going to dust this with some cornstarch so that the mochi dough doesn't stick to my plastic wrap. I'm definitely gonna get this all over my clothes. So I should wear an apron. Ah, it's fine. Now I'm going to plop all of this mochi dough onto my cornstarch. Just trying to find a good way to... Okay, here we go. Ooh, so gooey. It's all coming out pretty well though, which is good. I really thought like more of it would be super sticky and it would stick to the bowl and be really difficult to work with, but so far it's mostly coming out in one big clump. I think that's pretty good. Now I'm going to cover the top of this with some cornstarch as well. Wow, it really is like so shiny and nice. It's not super hot anymore, it's just a little warm. So I'm gonna wait for it to cool a little bit more before I roll it out into a rectangle. This is like real mochi dough. This looks like store-bought. It's so fun to poke though. You know what, I think this is mostly okay. I'm going to take out my rolling pin and cover it with cornstarch and start rolling it out. I have my rolling pin. So I'm just gonna roll this out into a big rectangle and then I'm going to cut it into six smaller squares or rectangles. I don't know what it's gonna look like, but that's where the um, ice cream is gonna go. This is really, really easy to manipulate. I'm actually very surprised at how well it's not sticking to my rolling pin at all. It's spreading really easily. So far, so good. The only scary thing so far was the plastic wrap, like creating a dome in the microwave. That was pretty scary. It's a pretty nice thin layer now. I'm gonna take a knife and kind of make six pieces now. All right, so I'm gonna slice it down the middle first and then like three down. This is really, really easy to work with. I'm very pleasantly surprised. So now that I've scored it, I'm going to take scissors and actually cut into the plastic wrap as well so that the plastic wrap kind of creates barriers in between the different slices of mochi dough. This is like not really working. Oh, it's sticking. Maybe I'll just use my knife. Like I said in my last video, I just generally prefer using knives to do everything, so. Okay, it's not really cutting the plastic wrap though, so that's not good. I need to cover whatever I'm using to cut in cornstarch because it's just gonna start sticking to it. Uh, there really is no difference between this pair of scissors and that pair of scissors, but on the off chance that these are like sharper, I'm just gonna try. <gasps> oh, okay, it's finally cutting into the plastic wrap, so that's good. Yay, sort of. Okay, okay. We are not doing too badly here. Uh, yay, our first mochi square-ish. It's like not really a square. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's ripping, it's ripping! Maybe I will just have to like roll this out again into a rectangle because it's, as you can see, no longer a rectangle. Okay, this is not too bad. It was just that first piece that really messed me up. Yeah. I sort of feel like 
parchment paper might have been better for this. Alex, I'm giving you a task. Oh no. Take the parchment paper and cut out rectangles for me. I'm improvising here. I just feel like first of all, parchment paper is easier to see. And second of all, plastic wrap just like kind of clings to itself and like gets misshapen very easily. Okay, I like this better. Okay, this is good. Oh, I love squeezing this, it's so fun. Look at this cutting job. Thanks. Okay, I have my six little layers of mochi dough here. I am going to leave this in the fridge to chill for 30 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm gonna work on my next batch. I just finished making my pink mochi. I really wanted it to be like a pastel pink. This is like, as Alex said, <laughs> Barb's pink. <laughs> I said it was like lava girl pink, but I think Barb's is way more accurate. I am gonna put this in the fridge to chill for 30 minutes as well. Hopefully by then this and my other batch and the ice cream will all be nice and cold for me to work with. And I am going to clean up my very messy workstation in the meantime. See you in a bit! A little later. Everything's super cold. I just took the mochi out of the fridge and the ice cream out of the freezer. So now we're gonna try to assemble everything. Let me cover this in some cornstarch so it doesn't stick. I have a feeling this is gonna be way more mochi than I need. So maybe I can make some more pieces after this. Let me just... Ah! Okay. Oh crap, wait, I need a scissor. Alex, can you get me a scissor? I have a scissor. Okay, it really is melting kind of fast. Um. Oh, wow, okay. That cut really nicely and I'll just fold. You have to work like really, really fast on this. Oh, it's really melting now. I'm just, I'll plop it back in and then, okay. That will just do for now. On to the next one. Gonna move really fast here, everybody. I just finished the vanilla ones. I'm really working against the clock here. It's melting so fast and I am gonna work on the strawberry ones now. They're starting to melt a lot, so I'm gonna put it in the freezer for a couple more minutes and then take it back out and work on the strawberry ones. Ah! I just took them out again, as you can see, and we're getting to work. I'm so nervous about it melting again. This is too thin! <laughs> slow down, slow down, slow down. Cat tries to bake! I love a mochi. Let's get to work. You want a muzzle ready? You better work. It's melting already! And it's also like not really closing nicely. Like it's not sealing, so I'm just gonna put it like at the bottom. We are just making do here. I feel like I'm training for the Olympics or something. Or like minute to win it. Those are two very different competitions. I'm begging you! Why is this so big? I'm just gonna plop that in. Alright, okay! Into the freezer it goes. I'm sweating. This was extremely unpleasant. Maybe I needed to freeze it way longer before working with it. I'm going to put this in the freezer for an hour and then we can try it. One hour later! Okay, they've been in the freezer for about an hour. They are starting to melt a little bit, so I'm just gonna work fast! Let's take this one, this vanilla one that I've accidentally wrapped with two pieces of cupcake liner. Let's cut it open first. Ah, it's melting. Oh, cute! Okay, look at all that ice cream in there. All right, I'm gonna try it. Oh my god, it's so cold. Come over, try, okay. try the other half. I'm hopping over. It's really good though. The well, presentation is questionable. <laughs> all right. As always. Here you go. Tell me that's not bomb. Oh. It's so good! Oh, cool. <laughs> so, how do we feel about how it tastes? Overall, <coughs> I think the chewy texture of the mochi, of the mochi, of the mochi, really saves this. Saves <laughs> this? How rude! 
god, you definitely nailed the, the dough though. I do think it's good. If I had more time, I would freeze everything longer like between steps. That was just like the main issue. I definitely also recommend using parchment paper like I realized I should use instead of plastic wrap just because like plastic wrap kind of clings to itself and I felt like like nothing stuck together with the parchment paper. Let's try the strawberry one. I'm so excited for this. All right, this is ugly, but th this one looks better. It's there's just like a lot of dough on the bottom. Oh, gambe, gambe. Mmm. I like the vanilla better. What? The mochi like tastes the same. It's just dyed a different color. It was so cold. No, but this gets a this gets a Jung Slam seal of approval. 成功. Thanks for watching. Come again. <laughs> <laughs> Come again. Come again. Smash that like button. Smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Ring that bell. Ring it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>